This is the water tank control system. I have programmed it using TIA portal software. Set high water level. Set low water level. Press start the pump will run if the actual water level is below the set low water level. Turn on simulation mode and the actual water level will automatically fluctuate. If the actual water level is greater than high high level, the pump stops. Opening the valve, actual water level down. The pump on again if the water level is below the low low level. This process repeats as the system runs. Now, we'll create a background for C Sharp. Copy screen 1 and create a new screen. Delete control objects, leaving only the background. Set the grid color to match the background color. Use the Snip Tool software to capture the background image. Save the image to your computer. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project and name it. Save the project in the C-Sharp project folder. Use picture box function to add the background. Copy this color code to use for the C-sharp color. Now, the C-sharp background color matches the background image. Use symbolfactory.net to add pumps and valves. Change the icon to a pump. Set up this function to change the color of the object when tag is true. This object has two states, on and off, so we need to set it up as I did. When tagged with one, the symbol displays in green. Do the same for the valve. I will use this valve. The valve also has two states, on and off. Do the same for the indicator light. I use the solid property for better color. The light also has two states, on and off.
Name the devices in the system. Now, I will create buttons for the project. This is the button to run the system. Change the font size. Stop button. Button to enable water level simulation. Button to disable water level simulation. Button to open and close the valve. Now, we'll create text boxes to display tag values. Text box displaying the actual water level. Text box for setting the high water level. Text box for setting the low water level. Set the default value for the text boxes to zero. These text boxes need to be disabled. Now add buttons for editing and saving water level settings. Add a 7.net to the project. If you don't have it, you can download it for free in the course. This is the form load function. Use s7.net. Add a class to read tag values from the PLC. You can use the tag list I created here. Use this code to declare the PLC. The class name for the tag here is incorrect. You need to use this class name. Create a timer to scan tag values from the PLC. I set the time to 1 second. When the PLC connection is successful, enable the timer with this code.
Create IDs for objects on the main form. Set ID for the button to enable simulation. Set ID for the button to disable simulation. Set ID for the start button. Set ID for the stop button. Set ID for the edit button. Set ID for the save button. Set ID for the open valve button. Set ID for the close valve button. Set ID for the pump. Set ID for the valve. Set ID for the lamp. Set ID for the actual water level. Set ID for setting the high water level. Set ID for setting the low water level. You need to create IDs for objects as shown in this picture. Create a class to display status for symbols. Use this code for the symbol color change class. Follow the software suggestions to fix any errors. Next, we will write code for the buttons. This is the button to edit the setting value. This is the button to save the setting value. This is the internal tag to edit the setting value. Use this code for the edit button. Use this code for the save button. This is the start button. Stop button. Button to enable simulation. Button to disable simulation. Open valve button. Close valve button. Use this code for the buttons. You need to change the tag address to match the TIA portal software. For the stop button, set the bit to false. Use this code for the simulation button. Change the tag address for the open valve button. Reset the bit when closing the valve. Use this code for the tag value scan timer. This is the tag value scan timer. I'm using PLC SIM here, 
So you need to change the PLC's IP address to the net to PLC SIM software's IP address. Run the runtime and check the results. Press start, run lamp on. Turn on the simulation to simulate the water level. Set the high water level to the low water level. Press start, and the pump will run because the actual water level is below the set low water level. The actual water level is increasing because the pump is running. If the water level is greater than the set high water level, the pump stops. If you open the valve, the water level in the tank level down. Subscribe to the channel for the next lesson.